And in this video, I'm going to be testing Rust-Oleum's chalkboard paint on 10 different surfaces. Rust-Oleum claims this chalkboard paint is an ultra hard scratch resistant finish that allows you to create a unique washable erasable surface. Here I have my 10 different surfaces that I'm gonna be testing. Terracotta, metal, concrete, plexiglass, MDF, glass, wood, hardboard, paperboard, and drywall. The chalkboard plane is gonna be applied with a smooth foam roller pad. I'm also gonna be testing whether or not it's necessary to use primer. Now Rust-Oleum does recommend the use of primer, especially for wood and metal. Nine of my 10 materials received a priming coat on half of their surface. The only one that did not receive a priming coat is my glass because I don't have a primer that works on glass and it says it works on glass. So there's really no need, in my opinion, for priming in order to do this test. And then I'm gonna let the paint cure for three days before testing it. After waiting three days, I conditioned each surface by rubbing chalk over the entire surface and erasing it. This will give each surface the best erasability because it has a fine layer of chalk. First off, the chalkboard paint worked on every single surface. I did not notice any improved performance with the primer, with the exception of the concrete block because the concrete was a very rough surface and the primer helped smooth out some of the roughness. Now let's take a look at each surface individually. Glass was by far the smoothest surface just because it started that way and it rubs off really well too. The terracotta was one of the most interesting surfaces and just like all the other ones, it rubs off very well. Drywall was a very durable surface with good erasability. The concrete was the only one where the primed made a difference. As you can see, this side is a little bit rougher with a little bit more of uh, star artifacts left in there, but the chalk rubs off all the same. The plywood I used had a grain texture and you can still see the grain texture through the paint. However, it erases all the same. The paperboard or cardboard was an interesting one. You can see the corrugated nature of the cardboard through the texture, but it erases. I thought that without the primer on half the surface, the paint would not adhere, but it adhered perfectly fine to the whole surface. No problems with acrylic or plexiglass either. Hardboard, a winner. MDF was also a winner. The last thing to show is that smooth surface is key to making a nice chalkboard. Up here I have an unsanded surface and here I sanded after applying the paint. This surface has a lot less of these star artifacts all around it and it erases just the same whether it's sanded or not. Rust-Oleum's chalkboard paint is a buy. It created a chalkboard surface on each of these materials.